The Jack Benny Program, transcribed, presented by Lucky Strike. Be happy, go lucky, be happy, go lucky, strike, be happy, go lucky, go lucky, strike today. To pick a better cigarette, you don't need sleight of hand. Try Lucky's better taste, and then they'll be your favorite brand. Honestly, Lucky's tastes better than any other cigarette. I roamed around the whole wide world from New York to Tibet, and I can tell you Lucky Strike's the finest cigarette. You'll discover Lucky's tastes better than any other cigarette. Be happy, go lucky, be happy, go lucky, strike, be happy, go lucky, go lucky, strike today. Friends, millions of smokers agree, Lucky's tastes better than any other cigarette, and here's why. You see, fine tobacco and only fine tobacco always gives you that happy blending of perfect mildness and rich, true tobacco taste. And LSMFT, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. Yes, Lucky Strike's fine tobacco gives you everything you want in a cigarette. Real mildness, rich taste, complete smoking enjoyment. So if you're not happy with your present brand, and a recent 38-city survey shows that millions are not, Switch to Lucky Strike. Every puff will prove Lucky's taste better than any other cigarette. Be happy, go lucky, go lucky, strike today. Remember, Lucky's taste better than any other cigarette. Strike program starring Jack Benny with Mary Livingston, Phil Harris, Rochester, Dennis Day, and yours truly, Don Wilson. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jack Benny is in New York City, and in exactly 30 minutes, he'll be doing his television show. But let me take you back a few days to Beverly Hills, where we find Jack at home getting ready for the trip. Oh, Rochester. Yes, boss. Rochester, we'll be away 12 days, so I hope you've taken care of all the little details. You know? As usual, I had the gas, electricity, and water turned off, and I left a note for the milkman to stop delivery. Good. What about the evening paper? I left instructions on that, too. You did? Yeah, now when they're through with it, the Coleman's can just throw it away. <laughs> good, good. Boss, maybe you ought to stop borrowing the Coleman's paper. I got a feeling they're trying to discourage the practice. Uh, what, what makes you say that? The last two issues came wrapped around their garbage. <laughs> what? That tea bag Dick Tracy was holding last night was real. <laughs> no kidding. Now take, uh, Rochester, take, take my grips out of the car while I call Miss Livingston. Is Miss Livingston going with us? No, no, but she's feeling much better and she'll be on our next show. It's Miss Livingston's sister I'm picking up. Her sister, babe? Yeah, she's going back to Plainfield on the same train we're taking. I'm gonna call her. Be happy, go lucky, be happy. Hello? Hello, Mary? No, this is Miss Livingston's maid. Oh, oh, Pauline. Oh, this is Jack Benny. I didn't recognize your voice. Well, it has been a long time. That's right. Not since New Year's Eve. <laughs> oh, you've taken me out since then. Oh, yes, that drive-in movie. What a picture, huh? Yes. Yeah. That was the first time I ever saw a picture at that drive-in. You were never there before? I didn't say that. <laughs> oh. Well, the reason I called, I'm coming by to pick up Babe in my car. Put her on the phone, will you? Okay. It's for you, ma'am. Thank you, Pauline. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Look, mister, get off the party line till I finish. <laughs> Jack! Come on, get off. Jack, it's me, babe. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Well, babe, I just, uh, I just called... <laughs> babe, I just called to tell you I'll pick you up in 15 minutes. Couldn't you make it a half hour? 
I'm all ready, but I have to put on my lipstick. Well, why should that take a half hour? Well, it's a special lipstick, and it takes longer to put on. Oh. But it's worth it. I've been using it for 12 years, and it doesn't smear. Oh, is it kiss-proof? Who knows? <laughs> you read that beautifully. <laughs> Well, try and hurry. Rochester's getting the car out now. Okay, Jack. I'll rush it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Rochester, we'll pick up Miss Livingston's sister in about 15 minutes. Are we going to pick up Mr. Harris, too? No, he's going with his piano player, Charlie Bagby. I hope they're not late. <laughs> you got everything packed, Bagby? Yeah, maestro. Well... <laughs> In less than an hour, Bagby, we'll be on that super cheap going to New York. We've been on so many trains. Which one is a super cheap? Well, you ought to remember the super cheap. That's the one you fell off. No, no, no. That was a cheap. You better wait for laughs, kid. <laughs> no, Bagby, the cheap is the one they threw you off. Or was it the El Capitan? No, the El Capitan is the one they wouldn't let me on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Say, Phil, how much money are you taking along for expenses? I don't know. How come you don't know? I don't know how much money I'm going to take. Alice hasn't given it to me yet. <laughs> oh. Look, uh, Bagby, you know something you ought to get married to? Me? Yeah, you ought to settle down and give up your bad habits like gambling, staying out half the night and drinking. What are you trying to do, ruin my character? <laughs> well, it's too late for your character, but there still may be a fighting chance for your liver. <laughs> I guess so. You know, Phil, it's too bad Remley couldn't make the trip with us. Yeah, I thought he'd be over that virus by now. Well, it's his own fault. He shivered and shook for three days. Why didn't he call a doctor? Oh, well, he didn't know it was virus. He thought it was the usual thing. <laughs> well, let's see. I wonder if I got everything. Are you taking any books along to read on the train? Books? No, I'm off books. Why? Well, I just finished the one I started last January, and I was kind of disappointed in it. What's the matter? Was it dull? No, it was exciting enough, but it was unbelievable. Imagine a giant living in a beanstalk. Hey, that's the book you borrowed from me. When are you going to get it back? You'll get it back. You'll get it back. I want to look at them pictures again. <laughs> now, come on, Bagby. Let's get going, huh? Sorry I kept you waiting, Jack. Oh, that's all right, babe. It gave me a chance to talk to Mary. She feels pretty good now, doesn't she? Yeah, she'll probably be back in your show next week. I hope so. She needs the money. You know. <laughs> well, there's the car. Uh, oh, babe, let me help you. Uh, up, uh, let me help you with your trunk, will you? Thanks. Uh, gee, it's heavy. Uh, there. Now take it easy so it won't fall off your shoulder. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> now steer me to the car. <laughs> Certainly. Now watch it, watch it. Don't laugh, the trunk will fall off. A little to the left, a little to the right. Now, now just dump it in the back seat there. There we are. Now let's get in the car. Start the motor, Rochester. Yes, sir. <laughs> Rochester, I can't understand that motor. Maybe, maybe there's some dirt on the spark plug. There must be. There's some beautiful flowers growing there. <laughs> Darn this spring weather. Start the motor again, Rochester. Yes, sir. Well, there we are. Now we're on our way. Jack, do we have to stop and pick up anyone else? No, Phil is coming with Bagby, and Dennis is driving down with his mother. Dennis, 
Did you tell the cab driver where to go? Yes, Mother, the Union Station. Well, I hope we don't miss the train. What time is it? It's exactly 1.15. Now it's 1.20. That's the meter! <laughs> now, Dennis. Now, Dennis, remember what I told you. I want you to take good care of yourself while you're in New York. Watch out for pickpockets. Oh, don't worry, Mother. I pin my money to my underwear. <laughs> A little trick I learned from Mr. Benny. <laughs> Mr. Benny pins his money to his underwear? Yeah, when he takes off his shirt, he looks like an artichoke. <laughs> I can imagine. Now, Dennis, what hotel are you going to stay at in New York? Oh, the one Mr. Benny always takes me to, the Acme Plaza. Oh, for heaven's sakes, Dennis. You don't have to live at that dump just because Mr. Benny stays there. Oh, I like the Acme Plaza, Mother. It's such fun. They play a wonderful game every morning. Game? Uh-huh. All the guests gather in the lobby and draw straws to see who's first in the bathroom. <laughs> you know, Mother, I'm really excited about going to New York. This time I'm going to visit all my friends. You have friends in New York? Who? Well, there's Brannigan, Flanagan, Milligan, Gilligan, Duffy, McCuffey, Malacca, Mahone, Rafferty, Lafferty, Donnelly, Connolly, Dooley... Ah! Shut up! <laughs> now, Dennis. Dennis, it's all right to... Vi Driver, turn around and watch where you're going. Oh, please, lady, I only turn around because I recognize your son. He's my favorite singer. Oh, isn't that sweet? Dennis, sing for the nice man. Yes, Mother. Oh, driver, you come back here and listen. I'll take the wheel. Okay. <laughs> in your arms to be in your arms. Okay, Rochester, the light changed. You can go now. Yes, sir. Jack, why don't you buy a new car? I'll tell you why, babe, because they don't make cars today like they used to. What do you mean? Well, for instance, take a simple matter like the steering wheel. Today they make them out of plastic. But the steering wheel on this car is made out of seasoned mahogany with solid steel spokes. Really? Yeah, here, take a look. Put that back on. <laughs> For goodness sakes, Rochester, just tend to your driving. Yes, sir. Say, Jack, I meant to ask you, who are you having on your television show? Gee, you read that beautifully. Do it, <laughs> do it again, babe. I want you to get used to radio. Go ahead. Say, Jack, I meant to ask you, who are you having on your television show? Yeah. Well, babe, I managed to get three great guest stars. I'm having Claudette Colbert, Robert Montgomery, and Basil Rathbone. Gee, that's wonderful. How did you get them to appear with you on television? I sent them a telegram and signed it, Senator Kefauver. <laughs> 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 
And you know, babe, on Thursday, I'm going to be on the radio show, Suspense. Gee, I'm so tickled. Hmm. A blowout. Rochester, aren't you going to fix it? If we stop with those silly things, we'd never get anywhere. <laughs> Rochester, you better stop the car. Jack, I'm afraid we'll be late. Look what time it is, 2.45. That's the meter. Yeah. <laughs> Turn it off, Rochester. It's only us. We got plenty of time. Now stop the car and we'll change the tire. <laughs> Well, we finally got to the station, babe. Let's go in. Train now leaving on track five for Anaheim, Azusa, and Cucamonga. Come on, babe. Gee, I'm ashamed to go on the train the way I look. Fixing that tire ruined my outfit. <laughs> Yes, there is a little grease on your T-shirt there. <laughs> Correction, please. The train scheduled to stop at Anaheim, Azusa, and Cucamonga will only go to Anaheim and Azusa. Cucamonga was moved on account of the freeway. <laughs> Say, babe, you wait here in case any of the gang shows up. I'm going to get a couple of magazines. Okay, Jack. Let's see... What magazine should I get? Can I help? Why, it's Mr. Benny! Mr. Gibson! <laughs> Mr. Kitzel, I didn't know you worked here. I don't. This is my brother's magazine stand. I'm just helping him out. The poor fellow got such trouble. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of trouble? Tomorrow, his wife's relatives are coming from the East to visit him, and today he gets sick with the intentional flu. <laughs> no, no, Mr. Kitzel, his flu is intestinal. It's intentional. You should see his relatives. <laughs> oh, 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 well, Mr. Kitzel, I'd like to get a couple of magazines. Let's see. I'll take Collier's and look. Collier's and look. Here you are. Attention, please. <laughs> Trains now leaving on track 7 and 11 for Las Vegas and all points the hard way. <laughs> uh, well, Mr. Kitzel... These trains are pulled by Geisel engines. <laughs> Mr. Kitzel... Roll them. <laughs> Well, Mr. Kitzel, it was nice seeing you, and I oh, hope... Oh, pardon me, clerk, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. Could oh, you... Don! Oh, oh, hello, Jack. I didn't see you. And you didn't recognize me either, Mr. Wilson. Oh, I must apologize, Mr. Kitzel, but I was in a hurry, and I wanted to get... Me, do, 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 do. me you don't have to tell what you want. Automatically, I'm reaching to get you some lucky strikes. Well... I've heard you say it so many times that lookies are so round, so prim, so fully fed. <laughs> and they're so easy and they're free. <laughs> no, 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 Mr. Kitzel, they're not free. You see, they're free and easy on the draw. Oh, excuse me. Thank you. But, Mr. Wilson, I read where a recent survey in 38 cities showed that millions of smokers aren't satisfied with their present brand of cigarettes. Imagine all those people going around unhappy when all they got to do is change to Lucky Strike. <laughs> this, to me, is sad. Oh, it really is. <laughs> so, here's your Lucky Strike. Uh, thank you. Take them and be happy, go lucky, be happy, go lucky, strike, be happy, go lucky, and thank you for the sale. Pooly, poo, 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 poo. <laughs> well, Mr. Ketzel, and Don, Don, excuse me, I better get back to babe. Uh, attention, please. Train now leaving on track eight for Barstow, Albuquerque, 
Kansas City, Chicago, and Cucamonga. <laughs> they really moved it. <laughs> Babe? Babe, did you see did you see any of our gang? No, did you? Only Don, and he was in a hurry. Hiya, bud. Long time no see. Huh? Oh, oh, hello. Come on, babe. Who was that? Oh, that's that tout. He must have been here for the Santa Anita races. Oh, look, here comes Dennis and his mother. Hello, Mrs. Day. Hello. Hmm. <laughs> now, Mr. Benny, once my boy gets on that train, he's your responsibility. I know, I know. And when you get to New York, I want you to take better care of Dennis than you did the last time. Don't be taking him to that place called Minsky's. <laughs> Minsky's? Why, Jack, you didn't take Dennis to a burlesque show. Babe, Minsky's happens to be the name of a delicatessen. Isn't that right, Dennis? Yes, sir. See? Well, Mr. Benny. Yes? Remember that third salami from the end? <laughs> Come on, come on, kid. Let's all get on the train. Wait a minute, Jack. I want to get some chewing gum. Some chewing gum? I'll get it for you, babe. You wait right here. See, I mustn't forget to get my ticket validated, too. I'll do it right after hey, I... Bun. Bun. Huh? Come here a minute. <laughs> Who, me? Yeah. Look, fella. Where are you going? I'm... I'm going to buy some chewing gum. What kind? Spearmint. Uh-uh. What? Get bubble gum. Bubble gum? Why? It's great in the stretch. Well, I don't know. What about chiclets? Chiclets haven't got a chance. Why not? They're boxed in. <laughs> but... But I like chiclets. Now, be smart, bud, and take bubble gum. Just uh, look at the breeding. The, the breeding? Yeah. It's by Penny on a slot machine. Oh, well, I don't care about that. I'm going to get spearmint. Okay, it's your dough. Oh, gee, look what time it is. Well, I won't have time. I'll get some gum on the train. Hey, Jackson! Jackson! Huh? Oh, hello, Phil. I'm glad you got here in time. What's that you're carrying under your arm? Bagby. <laughs> so soon? Oh, he's sober. I owe him this for carrying me last night. Oh, well, you better get him on the train. Hey, Jackson, by the way, you forgot to get Bagby's ticket. I did? Yeah. Well, here's mine. I'll get myself another one. I'll see you on the train. Attention, please. Will passengers who just arrived on the train from Catalina please get in your taxis? You're dripping all over the station. <laughs> now, let's see. Now, here's the ticket window. Oh, pardon me. Are you the ticket clerk here? Yes. <laughs> I used to be at Pasadena, but they moved me on account of the freeway. <laughs> That's very funny. Thank you. Attention, please. He stole that joke from me. <laughs> now, look, clerk. Now, let's not have any trouble here. I want a ticket to New York. Return trip? No, one way. Good. <laughs> now, cut that out. I'm coming back by plane. So just do what Excuse I... Excuse me, sir, but may I go ahead of you? I'm in a hurry. Well... Yes, yes, I guess so. Well, you see, I'm just going on my vacation for three weeks, and I don't want to waste a minute of it. Clerk, will you give me a ticket? Uh, yes, sir. Where to? Oh, I don't care. Any place is all right with me. Well, the next train out is going to Nashville, Tennessee. No, no, I'm not there. I don't want to go back to that state again. 
Why not? What happened there? Well, I'll tell you. I was dancing with my darling to the Tennessee Wall. <laughs> when an old friend I happened to see. And you introduced him to your loved one? Yes. <laughs> and while they were waltzing, my friend stole my sweetheart from me. Well, why don't you try to forget? Forget? I remember the night in the Tennessee Waltz. <laughs> now I know just how much I have lost. Look, mister. You keep out of it. <laughs> Just what did you lose? Well, I lost my little darling the night they were playing the beautiful Tennessee Wall. Well, what are you crying for? You're number one on the hit parade. I told you to keep out of it. I'm sorry. Well, look, uh, how about a ticket to Bam? Oh, yes, that'll be swell. Oh, you'll enjoy it there. It's very close to Lake Louise. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I can't go there. Why not? Louise was the name of my little darling. <laughs> oh, the one I was dancing with to the Tennessee Waltz when an old friend I have. Look, to one see. chorus is enough. <laughs> now, clerk, give me my ticket, will you? Attention, please. The following trains are now ready to depart. The Super Chief, the El Capitan, the City of Los Angeles, the Golden State Limited, and the Lark. There they go. Super Chief out in front, city of Los Angeles is second, no capital is third, uh, the Lark is fourth, and Golden State Limited. Uh, what is this? Going into the turn, it's still Super Chief by a headlight, uh, the Lark is second by a dining car, uh, El Capitan is third by three compartments in the bedroom, uh, and coming up past the city of Los Angeles on the rail. What is this? Coming into the half, Super Chief is still out in front. City of Los Angeles is second by a Pullman. And coming up in third place is the Lark, with the engineer using the whip. And coming up fast on the outside is Mary's sister, Bay. <laughs> Jack, we'll be back in just a moment. Now let's have a bit of April 1st fun. April Fool and lots of fun, but neighbors, we're not joking. When we say Lucky's better taste, gives extra joy in smoking. No kidding. Lucky's tastes better than any other cigarette. Most cigarettes look quite alike, but that does not fool me. Because I know fine tobacco counts and LSMFT. That's why Lucky's tastes better than any other cigarette. Be happy, go lucky, be happy, go lucky strike, be happy, go lucky, go lucky strike today. Friends, Lucky's taste better than any other cigarette. Yes, every puff of every Lucky always gives you that perfect blending of real mildness and rich, true tobacco taste. For fine tobacco and only fine tobacco makes a cigarette completely enjoyable. And you know, LSMFT, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. So to get everything you want in a cigarette, switch to Lucky Strike. You'll enjoy the perfect mildness and rich taste that Lucky Strike and only Lucky Strike can give you. Yes, be happy, go lucky. Make your next carton Lucky Strike. You'll agree, Lucky's taste better than any other cigarette. Be happy, go lucky, go lucky strike today. Remember, Lucky's taste better than any other cigarette. Rochester, I've got to get out on stage to do my television show in 30 seconds. Now hurry up and finish making me up. Boss, I'm just putting a little more Maybelline on you. Why? Those baby blue eyes don't look good with gray lashes. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Good night, folks. Be sure to hear Dennis Day in a day in the life of Dennis Day. The Jack Benny Show is heard by our armed forces overseas through the facilities of the Armed Forces Radio Service. Transcribed, this is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.